Hello, welcome back to another Week in Outfits. It is Monday and it is just after 10 o'clock. I'm taking the opportunity while our son naps to film my outfit. Um, he's actually sick today, so no daycare because one, I don't want him infecting any other children and two, I also want to give his body time to recover before we send him back. I'm gonna run you through my outfit. And gosh, my little fringy bit is just not, not cooperating today. Uh, earrings that I have on are those little Fang earrings from Missima, which I got in the Black Friday sales. I have a couple of rings on today, which are both from Linya. My necklace is from Maru Jewelry. I've had this one for a while, and then I'll pull you back so you can see my outfit better. Okay, so the top that I'm wearing is a cashmere knit sweater from Eveline. I'm going to be doing a Best Basics on cashmere knit, so if you have any brands that you would like to see, I do have a whole bunch. I've got Uniqlo, Eveline, Nardem, uh, Quince, Bowden. I also have a cashmere knit from The Curated, so I was wondering if maybe I should include that, but it's kind of a different style, so let me know what you think. But if there's any other brands, happy to include them in that video. So yeah, this is their grey classic cashmere crew um really really nice and soft and you kind of see it's got this flecked detail to it which is really pretty um i will say it's quite quite thin actually compared to some of the other ones but i mean that's obviously something i'm gonna reflect on a bit more in that video i have tucked it into these dark gray trousers from h&m i absolutely love these pants and i also bought them in the black and then i've got them this slightly different fabric in kind of this toby brown color which you will have seen before I got these taken up at the tailor and they're now the perfect length, but they're just a really nice, easy, relaxed, tailored trouser, something that I can actually just wear playing with our son, which was kind of a prerequisite for me. Um, I wanted things to be really comfortable and uh, you've probably noticed that my style has kind of been heading into this more relaxed, casual direction. On my feet, I'm wearing my Gucci loafers. I will say now, having had them for a while, that I don't think you need to go out and buy these. And I think in hindsight, I probably would have just been fine with my Sam Edelman loafers, even buying an updated version or just getting them uh, lovingly cared for at the cobbler. Uh, these are incredibly comfortable and I haven't had any blisters or any issues with them. They do kind of feel quite tight across the foot when you're first putting them on, so you might need a shoehorn to actually get your foot into them. Even with wide feet though, no problems. Um, and yeah, I don't get any blisters or anything when wearing them for long periods of time. I do actually find myself reaching for my black salmon and loafers more for a couple of reasons. One, I'm less precious with them. They're already all scuffed up, beat up. They're also more affordable. And black shoes are obviously going to go with everything. Uh, and yeah, I'm a little bit worried about damaging these. I've already found, just from them getting little splashes of water on them, that it's discoloured the leather, even though I have put a protectant on them, so I'm not really sure what that's about. It was slightly soapy water when I was doing the dishes, and I have a couple of spots where it almost looks like the leather is being bleached, which is unusual because it's not a harsh detergent at all. So, did I want to flag that? I mean, they're a beautiful shoe, and you really, really, really want them, go for it, but otherwise, get a jute. I definitely don't think you need to spend the money. I always say this with shoes. I think you can often get other alternatives um, and there's loads of mid price brands which are going to be just as good. Then my bag today is my Celine Trio which I don't know if it's going to focus but you have seen me talk about this about a million times so clearly I'm doing a bit of a um, three color color scheme here. So I've got my light gray, my dark gray, my dark brown. Anyway, that is it for today's outfit. I will see you tomorrow with my next outfit of the week. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday today, and it is currently 17 degrees. I think it's gonna be a high of 22, but I know what it's like in the winter time here or in the autumn time. The air feels very crisp, and unless you're in the sun, you are just freezing. So I've gone for long sleeves. I might also maybe wear a light jacket or something just in case, or at least pack one along with me when I leave the house to go to the supermarket and I need to go to the tailor. But aside from that, probably going to be just enjoying some downtime with our little boy. Luke's in orange at the moment for work, so we're alone for another two nights. And yeah, it's really bizarre. I woke up in the middle of the night last night and I remember thinking, where is Luke? And then it occurred to me that he was away for work. So Oh, yeah, my hair is again not cooperating and I know so many people say to me, oh, you would really suit bangs. My hair type is not right for bangs because basically it just kind of goes upwards, especially after I sleep and when I try and style it with a straightener, it doesn't really work. Um, I have the type of hair that doesn't like any sort of moisture, so it's 
even my hair could be perfectly styled and then the second there's any moisture in the air or I then just get a couple of droplets of water in my hair, it goes really, really frizzy. And um, it's also funny because when I was younger, when I was 13, um, I went to get a haircut and I wanted to be sort of this length, maybe a little bit shorter and slightly uneven on the, um, and then slightly uneven at the end. So it didn't look like a perfectly straight line. What I got was quite honestly the most horrendous haircut I've ever had in my life. I was, when I was 13, I was actually bullied at school and this was one of the things that I was constantly bullied about. I was constantly told that I had curtains because I had these bangs which were like to here uh, that covered my face and they were <laughs> like quite wide. So, and the rest of my hair was quite short. I mean, I felt very, very self-conscious and uh, it's a reason why I'm, I'm really don't like this it's another unwanted haircut i suppose and it's definitely one of the things that i have found has affected my confidence so i find when i'm confident you know i'll pull my shoulders back and i don't have the best posture as it is but i have noticed that because i'm so self-conscious about my hair and can't really do much about it uh, i'm sort of slouching a little bit more as a way to hide myself and that was something i did when i was younger too um yeah it's just very interesting when i went to my physio and i was talking to her about it uh yeah, I was just sort of reflecting on, on how those minor things actually do have a bit of an impact and a long lasting beyond just that moment in time. I could certainly talk about this a lot more as well as body confidence since becoming a mum because my body has changed and there's things about it that I don't love but I'm trying to learn to love about my body. Uh, so if that's of interest, maybe I can talk about it more in a vlog or something like that. Um, let me talk you through my outfit because I know that's what you're all here for. <laughs> so, earrings, I've gone for a mismatched earring situation today, which is something I really like to do with statement earrings. So, we have on this side, oh, it's gone all skew with. I'm wearing one of my timeless pearly earrings. The other one is a blue ceramic earring, which I find doesn't work with every single outfit, considering I mostly wear neutrals. I'd love to buy another pair of earrings from the brand because I think they are just very beautiful. Either that or from Completed Works. Maybe I'll link a couple of my favourites down below. On the other side, I have this other statement earring. This one is from Ellery, which is an Australian brand and it has the Aquarius symbol on it. Necklaces that I have on today, which I completely forgot to share. Yesterday, I'm wearing my little initial necklace from Sarah and Sebastian which my girlfriend gave me then I have on my Majuri necklace then let's talk through what I'm wearing the top that I'm wearing today is my runny jumper from Cezanne and I actually think this is probably one of my favorite purchases that I've made from the brand I've talked about this so many times but it is such a hit or miss experience when shopping from there based on the imagery and also just shopping online in general when you can't feel fabrics you sort of are taking a bit of a gamble so you don't always win <laughs> um yeah this is a really nice sort of stretchy uh viscose eco what is it called eco no eco vero lensing um mix it does have i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell there are these little uh little gaps within the fabric it's a bit too dark actually i don't think it's gonna shop on camera but i love the square neckline which is scalloped uh, and then those blues on sleeves that they are very well known for i'm wearing this in the um size extra small um it's very stretchy so one that you could size down in i think they've got the anil knit which is the short sleeve version that I would say probably if it fits the same as this, size down. The jeans that I have on today are the ones that I was wearing earlier because I was filming a reel for my partnership with Elaine for this month. I will link it down below because it will be live by the time this video goes up. It's just sort of three transitional outfits. And I was like, you know what? I really want to wear those jeans today. <laughs> so um, I pulled them out and yeah, I'm loving them. They're the way high jeans. I'm wearing them in the, um, this is kind of almost like a, slightly faded black it's not a true black but it might look quite dark on camera uh, they are a bit more of a generous sizing so I got them in the 25 whereas I would say I'm a pretty true 26 when it comes to denim in general um, and they're not super tight at the waist as you might be able to see they are very long in the leg and I have noticed I've got them in the blue wash as well the blue wash are slightly shorter so 
I guess having a raw edge hem, you could easily cut them to whatever length you wanted. You wouldn't necessarily need to go to a tailor. On my feet, I'm actually also wearing a pair of shoes from Eberlane. These are the new City Sandals. So they were one of the items that I picked it as part of my gifting for this month. And I really, really like them. I got them in the tan woven leather as well. And I will say of the two, the ones which are just the simple band of leather across the foot are much more comfortable. The tan woven ones I find are a little bit tight and they kind of dig in, but they are perfect if you have wide feet. I got my usual size, it was nine and a half. Haven't had a single blister, haven't had um, any pain wearing the black ones. As I said, the tan ones can be a little bit uncomfortable and I'm still kind of stretching out the uh, section where I suppose it, it hits my foot at the top. Um, but yeah, I like the fact they've got a nice low block heel, very, very easy to wear and will be a great spring summer staple for me. Then my bag today is my little Quince crossbody camera bag. I absolutely adore this and you will have seen it featured if you watched Monday's video where I shared the bags that I would pick if I could only own five from my entire collection. I just feel like this bag is such incredible value for money and I have heard from those of you who've purchased it and um, also from my own experience from buying one for a friend that the leather straps now do match up with the leather on the body of the bag. So that's really cool. And they've also added in some extra notches. I took mine to the cobbler and I don't know if it's going to focus, but I got extra holes added in so that I could adjust the length so that it would fit me a bit better. So very happy with that. And yeah, that is a full look at my outfit of the day. I'm going to stop waffling because I can already see this is a really, really long clip. I will see you tomorrow with my next outfit of the week. Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. It is such a beautiful day outside, very, very sunny. However, it's a little bit on the cooler side, at least from a Sydney sider's perspective. It's gonna be 19 degrees, so that autumn weather is really starting to come through now and you can definitely feel it. I mean, our house in particular is really cold. It's cold if you're in the shade, however, if you're in the sun, it's really beautiful and warm. So I kind of, you'll see from my outfit that I've kind of gone for best of both worlds. I actually had a beauty product I wanted to quickly mention because I rediscovered it this week and I don't know what I've been doing without it. It is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. It's been a while since I've used this and honestly I'm not really sure why I stopped. It is such an incredible product. It is full coverage but it looks like skin and I think that's really what has wowed me with this and even using it now, I mean, I can see why I loved it so much initially. Uh, I actually just use this all the way up under my eyes so I'm finding it's great as a concealer too. If I need a top up, I'm using that Laura Mercier concealer which I shared a few weeks back. Uh, if you were curious, I will link it down below, but amazing. I ordered it in light because I have the shade neutral tan. I'm definitely not tanned at all. <laughs> I haven't really spent much of the summer outside just because uh, I didn't want our sun to be exposed to UV rays. Um, obviously when they're under 12 months, you're trying to minimize that exposure as much as possible. So wasn't in the sun. If I was at the park, I was in the shade. And also I'm trying to minimize the environmental impacts that you know, on the aging process too. But really, really lovely product. If you haven't tried this, highly, highly recommend. Um, and it does come in a travel size, so if you just wanna give it a go. However, the travel size only has limited shades available, so um, maybe go into Sephora, because that's where it stopped. They have the full shade range there, and you can maybe get a sample. Um, anyway, <laughs> just wanted to share that. You know when you, when you rediscover something and you absolutely just like, wow, okay, I need to tell everybody about this. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> um, all right, jewelry. Today I have on, um, I don't have any necklaces on because I think the overalls are kind of doing a lot. So I've gone for a statement earring. These are the Matilde earrings from Linnea, which I love. They have that slightly inorganic shape, which is also replicating the fact that the pearls aren't, you know, perfectly shaped either. Really, really love that. Then I have on two rings, which are also from Linnea. These are from the Eco Lux collection. I talked about them in a recent video. Uh, I have on the Ilsa Ring Lux, and then I've stacked it with the Miriam Ring. These are both 14 karat gold and they are made with lab grown diamonds, which I just think is so cool. I mean, gosh, the, te the developments in technology that we're even able to do that. They uh, physically, chemically, uh, aesthetically, exactly the same as a mine diamond, however they're conflict free. So really good option and a lot more uh, reasonably priced as well than mine diamonds. 
Then for the rest of my outfit. Okay, so as you might be able to tell, I have on a, another cashmere knit. I really am going quite hard on testing these all out so that I can share a really informative review. Uh, you know, I want to kind of try and wear them all between five and ten times. So they're kind of going to be my go-to a lot. Sorry, quick squeaky floorboards. Can't wait to get rid of that when we renovate. Uh, this one is from Uniqlo. I have it on the size medium. Uh, really nice and soft. I think Uniqlo is a good option if you are just looking for great basics. They do merino knits like this that are very similar. Uh, really nice loose fit. However, I do find the sleeves are a little bit on the long side on these. The overalls that I'm wearing, I just got these back from the tailor yesterday. They are the Emmeline overalls and they're so cool. Um, this is the Ecru color. Uh, I'm wearing these in the US 4 and they are pretty generously sized. I mean, you can kind of see they're very relaxed on me. They've got the buttons on the side to kind of get you in. They have very nice long adjustable straps. I have quite a bit of length here, which is very nice considering that I do have a long torso. Uh, then through the leg, they're just kind of a really relaxed, wide fit. And I find that longer leg lengths aren't necessarily that flattering on me. It kind of depends. And the length these were, it didn't really work. So I just got them hemmed up. So they're a crop length. And I like it. I like the fact they're very straight. Um, and they just feel like a nice round the house sort of an outfit. Very kind of casual. You can easily move about in them. I feel very comfortable. The quality of them is really lovely. It's kind of this, um, it, it's not a denim, but it's also not a basic cotton. It's almost like a cotton canvas twill. Uh, it's probably the best way to describe it. I'll come up close so you can get a better look at the fabric. Uh, then on my feet, I'm wearing my Tiki's uh, flip-flops. I love these. They're just a leather version. So, so, so comfortable. So light. I feel like these would be a great walking shoe in the summer to work and then you just have, you know, your heels under your desk. You can easily slip these back into your bag because they don't take up a lot of space. I will share what colour I'm wearing because I can't remember off the top of my head down in the description box below as well. But yeah, really great. And I'm quite liking these very neutral kind of caramelly vibes for this outfit. Uh, I don't have a bag. I don't know what bag I'm going to wear today. It'll probably just be my quince bag, maybe my pollen kibas tote. Um, we'll see. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, that's it from me. I will see you guys tomorrow with my next outfit of the week. Hello, so it is Thursday and Again, we've got more sunshine. It is about 17 degrees right now, but I think it's supposed to go up to 21 and with a low of 11. So overnight, it's really starting to cool down and I'm definitely feeling it in the house. Today will be a bit of work, looking after our son, kind of the usual. Might try and get up to the park again because he absolutely loves it. Yesterday when we were at the park, we're just sort of, um, I was pushing the pram while he was running along. So uh, he was having the time of his life. <laughs> And it's just nice to get out of the house really and do something a little bit different. So the earrings that I'm wearing today are from Linya and these are the Matilde earrings. I think I was wearing them yesterday as well, if memory serves me. Memory like a serve, I swear. <laughs> but I really like the size of them. I think that they are a little bit of a statement without being too large. The necklace that I'm wearing today is from Country Road, just a really thick chain necklace. I do find that this uh, closure sometimes comes undone so I like to wear it on the side so that it's not just going to pop open. Then I just have on a couple of rings from Majuri, uh, beaded stacker ring and then the open diamonds ring I think it's called. Cool. And then let's talk about my outfit. Okay so let's start with my base layer which is just a crew neck sweater. This is the Miere knit sweater in the Et Crew. I wear it in a size small. It's a very generous cut. Um, I have actually put the exact item measurements on the website if you are looking at the sizing. You can kind of see there's not too much between the three different sizes, but um, that should hopefully be a really good guide for anyone who has been considering getting one. Uh, just to flag that we only have a small handful of the size small left. So in this color, we still have plenty of the terracotta and the navy. So um, yeah, just wanted to mention because I would say this is probably being kind of our bestseller, but we do have new women's nets coming. They're gonna be coming towards the end of May, I believe. Uh, production seems to be on schedule, which is good. So really excited to share those with you. And they're gonna be a heavier weight knit. This is a really lightweight one, good for the transitional season. Or if you live in the Northern hemisphere, it's a really good one for in the evening when it's starting to cool down during the summer. 
Um, now, I really like the fact that this is very long because it works well with the skirt that I'm wearing, which is pleated skirt from Arquette. I purchased this a while ago. I've, been, I've had my eye on it for ages. I was just waiting for my size to come back and stop. I do find these are pretty generously sized. I would say that I'm a true AU8 and I have the 34 and it still is not snug around the waist. It's still a little bit, uh, it's quite forgiving, should I say. Um, now, the quality of it is lovely. However, I do just want to mention that it is still slightly sheer. It's not 100% opaque, which is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. So you either have to wear a little slit underneath it, which is something I've done, that or Spanx, Otherwise, you can do what I've done today, which is wear a really long knit which covers your bum and then you don't need to worry about it. Then just wearing skin color, colored knickers underneath. Uh, if you live in the US and you can't access our care, I know you can in Canada, but in the US I don't believe you can yet. Uh, H&M, which is one of their sister companies, they do the exact same skirt in, I think a slightly different fabrication, but it's same style, really stiff pleats, and they usually have more vibrant color choices. They probably have the same one at Cos too. I do find within that family of companies, they tend to replicate the same styles and then just release them in slightly different fabrics within the, the different brands. Um, so yeah, just one thing to keep in mind. The blazer that I'm wearing over the top is my Everlane wool blazer. This I'm wearing in the size US 4 and definitely is a really good fit on me. My tummy keeps rumbling, so I'm so sorry if you can hear that. Um, I did a blog post recently talking about intentional fit versus desired fit. So essentially how a designer is intending for an item to fit on you versus how you actually want an item that you're looking for to fill a very specific gap in your wardrobe to fit you. And those are two very separate things. And then in addition to that, there's also the question of does an item just actually run large? Because that's a completely separate thing on its own. So I'm kind of talking about those three things in that blog post. I'm gonna link it down below. It's sort of just me putting all my thoughts onto paper or should I say virtual paper because it's my blog, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I decided to go with my usual size and I really actually prefer the fit of this compared to my herringbone wool blazer that I've got in the same style. So. Um, yeah, I, I don't actually think it fits too big. The shoulders, uh, they just slightly overhang, not in a massive way. Now, you'll see the styling of this is a little bit different for me, I suppose, but if you've been following my blog for years, and I'm talking about since when I lived back in Wellington, then you'll have seen me do what I've done with my shoes today before. <laughs> so I'm wearing these, these really cool brogues, and I'll talk about them in a second, but I'm wearing them with socks. And this is something I used to do a lot when I was wearing skirts and dresses in Wellington because it's quite cold there compared to, to here in Sydney. And so during the spring, I would still be bundling up. I'd still be wearing coats, but I'd want to get my legs out. So it was a nice way for me to have the best of both worlds. The socks I'm wearing are also from Arquette and they're the organic cotton ones. I have them in the grey as well. They are just really nice. Um, I personally really love them. In order to get them to sit lower down, because they're quite a high sock, I've essentially folded them over. So hopefully you can get a sense. You can also scrunch them, but I feel like that adds a little bit too much bulk around the ankle, which is what I wanted to avoid. Now the shoes, oh, <laughs> these were such a good secondhand find. I purchased them off Depop actually, of all places. I didn't think I would find them on there, but I've been wanting to purchase a pair of these brogues from Karen Walker for ages. I missed out when they were actually available on the website. They are very reminiscent of a collaboration they did with Bo Coops years ago. And I used to own those shoes and for whatever reason, something came over me, I decided to sell them. And I wish I hadn't. They're a really lovely, um, kind of like a honey, creamy honey color. And they were so nice, the leather was so supple and soft. So when I saw that Karen Walker had done her own version, uh, I immediately added them to my wish list. These have a pointed toe, which I really like because it's quite sharp and I think that that particular style is really flattering, especially when you're wearing a more masculine shoe. The leather on them is really stiff, so I kind of know I'm going to have to wear them in and I don't think today is going to be the most comfortable outing in them, but having socks on always helps. I'm going to have that little slight heel to them. But yeah, really, really chuffed with them. And I did get some questions when I shared them on my stories as to how I would style them. So this is one of the ways that I would wear them. Also, I think with a lot of jeans, like straight leg, skinny leg. Um, now, bag wise today, I have a new handbag, uh, which I purchased from Setire. They had a sale. So 
I'm going to be doing some work with them and I decided to buy a couple of things as being one of them. Uh, so I'll give you a close up look. So this is called the Daryl bag, how there's a few different variations of the Daryl bag. Like there's a shoulder bag version which has this circle plaited detail on the actual strap which is really nice actually and that was kind of, I was tossing up between the two but I went with this sort of, I would call it a small to medium sized tote. My only complaint with this, so it's actually really really supple leather, like very very soft and quite kind of floppy so you need to really fill it up otherwise it's just going to fall in on itself. I was going to say one thing I have found when I've got the straps on my shoulder is depending on what I'm wearing they sometimes slip off so I have to kind of wear the bag like that so that it won't slip off. That's probably my only complaint otherwise I think it's a really really beautiful bag. Very nice quality and I think as far as Chloe bags go this doesn't feel like one that is going to date like some of their other styles which has kind of been a reason why I've been a little bit hesitant to purchase into the brand previously. So yeah, that is kind of my full outfit of the day. My hair would come up right. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with my final outfit of the week. Happy Friday. We have made it to the end of the week. Today is another sunny day. I feel like I've been saying that a lot this week. It's going to be 21 with a low of 11. So it feels really cold in the house. And again, I know if I'm going to be outside in the sun, it would be warm. But if I'm in the shade, I will be feeling quite cold. So I've gone for natural fibers, easy breezy basics, which I know I won't feel overheated in. I don't really have any kind of news to share today is just going to be another normal day for us. Luke is back from Orange so it's really lovely having him home again because we definitely missed him in our house. Uh, so I might just quickly start by talking about my jewellery. So earrings I have on today are these Majuri earrings. I've talked about these a little bit. They were a collaboration with Frame and um, I received these as part of some work that I did with the brand. I really love them as a bit of a statement earring that feels kind of vintage but modern or should I say fresh at the same time. Then I have on a couple of rings from Linnea. I was wearing these earlier in the week. These are from their new Eco Lux collection which are made with the lab grown diamonds. Um, I'm wearing the Ilsa Ring Lux and then also the Miriam Ring and then I have on my Siri Wrap Ring. Um, and then just my wedding rings and my Missima, uh, this is just a chain bracelet. As you may have been able to tell, I'm in my Miyere sweater again today. It's just such an easy basic to throw on and so comfortable, slouchy. Uh, I actually just purchased some leggings because I don't own any uh, because I felt like these knits would work really well with those just worn loose, seeing as the length is really nice and long. Um, yeah, I've just got the sleeves messily rolled up and then I've done a half tuck into these Mal Mila pants and I shared these in a new wardrobe editions video a while back I will leave it linked up in the cards if you haven't seen that one um, and I just absolutely adore these trousers I think they are so so nice the quality of the linen that Mal has used is just beautiful it has this kind of raw texture to it but it's not scratchy uh, it definitely does kind of crease up and stuff and that's just one of the things that comes with wearing linen uh, I personally don't mind it I feel like it has that very relaxed sort of a lived-in feel whenever you wear uh, the sort of material but yeah they're really nice and long uh, very wide through the leg and then they have that contrast stitching towards the hem and then also the contrast rope belt at the waist. I have them in the AU8 and I'd say they're pretty true to size. I maybe could have gone with the 6 just because their elastic is very nice and soft and very stretchy. So if there are two sizes available, maybe you're in between sizes, you could go with either or depending on the desired fit because everywhere else they're very relaxed. On my feet I am wearing my YSL tribute slides in the black leather. You probably don't need me to bang on about these anymore because I wear them just so darn frequently. I think they're fab. My bag is again the same bag that I was using yesterday, the Chloe Daryl bag. I believe it's called the Chloe Daryl tote. I will make sure that I've linked the one that I purchased down in the description box below in case you'd like to go and check it out. But I think it's so cool and I love this sort of uh, circular braided effect on the straps as well. So that is my full outfit of the day for Friday. Thank you guys so much for spending some of your day with me for watching this week's week in outfits. I would love to know what your favorite look was. As always, I know I always ask this, but I'm, I'm really curious because I tend to wear quite varied outfits on a daily basis. 
Uh, and yeah, I'd love to know maybe if there's any particular outfit combination that you have been wearing recently. Please also tell me in the comment section below. Anyway, I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye!